Hello there everybody and welcome to another video. This is the last video for today before I go eat some tater tots because tater tots are fire and I feel like getting some. But Sneeko exposes the red pill. What did Sneeko do? He switching sides now? Happy I'm Playboy curious. instead of raise a family? Well, we, 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 like, we make fun of women all day who so wanted to be girl boss queens and sleep around and have all this. And then you tell guys, be a Playboy instead of raise a family. You want to know what's the switching? quickest way for you to become high value man? Don't get married. Eliminate all sedation, learn game and networking, build wealth, get a vasectomy in your 20s. What did he say? Nah, I wouldn't get that. Now, the number two. Because I heard that the, I always thought that shit was reversible, but they're like, nah, that shit's only percentage was reversible. So, like, in the first year, it might be like 80, but then later on, it, the chances become left, less, lift, consistently eliminate all sed sedations. Learn game and networking, play to your strengths and build wealth. Resist easing up on your focus. Do not get married. Mm. Avoid family creation. Uh those two, I could I could already tell that's from the US government because them bitches go crazy on that shit they be that's doing. One thing is very important. You have to avoid you get what I mean. creation and get the slipping. So our good friend Sneeko, he saw this. The old the old Sneeko kicked back in, man. What does that mean? He he thought he thought for himself. He's like, that sounds crazy. I'm gonna I'm gonna teach young men to get a vasectomy in their twenties. I'm gonna teach young men to do that. And so he got together fresh and fit. He had a powwow. And the old Sneeko is back, bro. Should men in their twenties get a vasectomy? No. Personally, I would say I would say no. Um, That's stupid. Looking at it from a holistic standpoint, I get what Rolo is saying for the whole topic itself of being high value. Because once again, if you get a woman pregnant that's not there for you, she could be against you and it could turn to many different things. But personally, like I was saying earlier, for me, I do want a family if I meet the right woman. I think is going to raise that shit, that, that uh, child. But for most men, do that. The I want to say resources. <laughs> Please stop, please stop. Get the right woman? No, no. Right, he call a kid a shit? <laughs> How that little please shit please in? Stop. If she can raise that little shit, but I'm all for it, man. You got is that a boy or a girl? You and me impressed with Sneak on this one. Why is this like a hard? This not I don't like, know. This is not a hard answer. It's it's not a ain't gotta go hard that answer at all. It's just a no, bro. It's yes or no, bro. Just answer the question. You know you can reverse vasectomies too. That's the mm, nah. point. Do you know what the success nah. rate is though? Mm. Yeah, just look it up. I want to save resources to find yeah, a woman slow every single dreams, time. or even get the right woman? Probably not. So to be safe, vasectomy might, might be in their best interest. Because, so yes. No, no, I'm saying, okay, so it is depends, a yes or no. It depends on, on the, on the uh, individual. That's what I'm saying. So it's up to the man to decide for himself, but I'm just saying generally for me, I think family is very important, but I understand why most men would, might not want that because finding a woman that's actually good for you may be kind of hard. So I'm I get talking a little bit. In America specifically. In America, yeah. In America, to yeah. be specific. What do you think? Let me, let's get the ladies' takes on it. And then it goes around. <laughs> <laughs> it's your podcast. Look at your take on it. Nigga. Oh shit! To be a high value man, the top three steps: avoid <laughs> family creation, get a vasectomy, and have a network. It's just like the generic male self improvement stuff. But num like two of the top three: get a vasectomy and avoid family creation. Do you agree? Did he say avoid? I don't think yes. he said avoid. Word family. for word, avoid family creation. It's on Twitter. Top, top three it's steps to become list. a high value man. Okay, I didn't see this tweet. I'm about to yeah. take a look at it, but. I mean, here's the thing. I think what he means by that. <laughs> well, he think it's so funny to me, bro. Oh, like, I don't boy. know if he said it or he didn't say it. And I don't know. Like, maybe I just had to take a look and I, I got to get a closer look at it. Because yeah. I, haven't, I haven't really analyzed it myself. He is saying word for word with the tweet says, like, ooh, I don't really know. I don't know. Oh, I don't I don't know. know. I'm going to have to take a second look and throw. I'm having my assistant take a look at it, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have my whole team actually. We're going to gather. We haven't had yeah. a meeting about it yet. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to have to have a meeting to describe it. Piece everything together real yeah, quick. But when man. I piece everything together I'll right now, Oh, shit, man, off the dome, I mean, I don't know. When he says high value, man, he's talking from the perspective of being able to be a playboy, playboy and get as many girls. But why is that a priority over having a fan? Like, wh why would that even be advice? Why, why would that be a male self-improvement advice? Well, be a playboy instead of raise a family? Well, we, 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 sh like, we make fun of women all day for wanting to be girl boss queens and sleep around and have all this. And then you tell guys, be a playboy instead of raise a family. That's the same advice on the other side. Because right. here's the thing, when you're a playboy, a you're going to be better at raising That is true, though. I'm sorry. What's bro about to like... say, if you're a playboy, then you would have better chance at raising a guy? Yeah, yeah it's about to be horrible. But Sneeko's spitting right now. Same advice on the other side. Because right. here's the thing, when you're a playboy, you're going to be better at raising the family. And the reason but he's for saying that is family bro. creation. Well, he's saying to be a high value. He's talking from the frame. You know, you don't think so? why, would a, why would a nigga that doesn't have, why would a nigga that avoids commitment be better than a guy who's 
looking to see seeking a family to raise. Yeah, I don't know, yes, bro. You don't understand it. You get a lot of fatherly intake when you fucking, fucking all these women. women. Exactly. Yeah, it's like you don't understand the fatherly instinct kicks in once you get done <laughs> fucking a bunch of women, bro. That's what happens. You just, you just fuck the shit out of her, and then you want to take your kid to the park. That's it, bro. <laughs> On your thirtieth body, you're like, whoa, wow. the dad jokes are kicking in, like all of a sudden, bro. And knowing how, knowing Rolo, because I know him personally, he's talking from the frame of being a guy getting a lot of girls. And then if you want, decide you want to get a family down the road, you can always unsnip and then go ahead and go the, down the unsnip. road. Unsnip. But hmm. in today's day and age, That's crazy. I agree to a degree that you need to have sex with at least 50 girls as a guy. I've talked about that all the time. It's controversial. 50. But the reason why I say that is because most women are more promiscuous than most guys. So if you're a dude and you're getting out here dating girls and you get your pee pee well with the first girl, she could sell you a dream and you'll be like, oh, yeah, this is great. So guys got to get out there and be sexually experienced. So he's talking from the frame of, uh, he's talking from the frame of, you know, being attractive. I think, I think most guys out here are not going to be able to control their sexual urges. So he's saying as a, oh, dude. Yeah. Okay. You got it. Yeah. I'm looking at it right now. The quickest path to becoming a high value man. Do not get married. Avoid family creation. Vasect me in your twenties. Live consistently. Eliminate all sedations. Learn game and networking. Play to your strength. They don't have an opinion on this. They're just they making. Don't. Yeah. They're yeah. making just, up as they go. And, the, and then Sneeko's gonna make them feel dumb about their dumb opinion. I bet. I'm just predicting here. And then they're gonna be like, "Damn, I probably should have just had that meeting about the fucking yeah. tweet." But here's the thing, though. Like, niggas like, oh, oh. This is not the shit you just told me. Is, I'm is reading not, it right now. It's not far enough outside the scope of what y'all always do for you to be stumbling like this. It's not. Yeah. Y'all should, this should be like layups. This is just another way to have the same combo y'all been having on repeat. And for whatever reason, like all of a sudden when it gets, it, but it's, it, the reason why is because the bounds in which they continue to push. Like now we're talking about having a surgery that will prevent you from having children. Like that's how far, like you just, that's when you know you get to the extreme where like we keep pushing it and then we, and then when they ask you, so yes or no, and like, mm, that? Yes or I don't no? know. Like, Ooh, I, I don't um, know, man. Don't know. It just kind of, I guess it just depends, right? If you I mean, it depends on who you are, right? Exactly. Like you do when you start doing that, that's when you know you step the bounds. Yeah, uh, avoid family creation so, again. Yes, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, because when you, <laughs> yeah, dude, because your value doesn't go up until you're built something, and that's typically going to be in your 30s. So, most guys, that's what he's saying. What do they focus on? Girls the whole time. He's saying at this point in your, in your career, when yeah. you're on the way up, focus on things that are going to help you move forward in life and become successful. Yeah. And get so a surgery that done that prevents you from having children. Yeah, but you can always reverse it. He's that's saying, not like a lot of the times that shit messes up. It's that's not something you could just like hope that it's gonna be okay. Generally, then. most men can't control their urges, so what's yeah. gonna happen is they're gonna go fuck around and get somebody pregnant. This then, is this is how you rise up yeah. the path to become my, 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 the high value man that can't control their urges. Yeah, wasn't that the whole purpose of which I was saying was discipline? Isn't that a part of being a high value man is to gain discipline? Is it like they run out of talking points so they try and like force something new to come up? And it just keeps going further and further and further. I can't imagine they had someone they cared about in their life and they would tell them this. Nobody just, would nobody would say, get it for a second. Man. They no might way. do it on their podcast. And then, and then turn around and tell them, well, you can just reverse it. Like if, you're, if your niece or nephew like is 20 years old and they're like, damn, I'm just trying to figure it out in life. I don't know what I want to do. And if no. you gave them this advice, it's borderline criminal. Like it's just awful advice, man. And just real quick. For those who want to know like the info about reversing a vasectomy, it will it be successful? Sure. However, the problem with vasectomies, the longer you have it, when you try to reverse it, the less likely you're actually going to gain back yep. enough sperm to actually impregnate somebody. If you're a guy and you scream, "Who wants to fuck in a grocery store?" They probably arrest you. Yeah. But a woman, you like ha like some niggas would be like, "Bro, like, are you okay? You good? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So here's my number. Yeah." <laughs> I think if you just gave the men the same ability to, if they could, they would too, bro. I don't think that's like. But there, but that's the other contradicting part of their argument is that men can't though. So they're but they're trying to sell this idea that men don't have sex early on because they don't have value. But now all of a sudden, men early on who don't have value are getting a bunch of women pregnant. Like that doesn't make any sense at all. Like that's contradicting of what you all have claimed this entire time that there is a subsection of men who are celibate who aren't having sex who've gone stretches of their of the year without having sex at all but now all of a sudden men are having enough sex to get women pregnant at such an alarming rate that you would sit here and tell men to get a vasectomy come high status because yeah. you're eliminating mm. all variables that risk. can fuck you up yeah it's about that's risk, what he's saying risk mitigation right there how many dudes do you know that could have made it to the nba or could have been a star and an athlete or something that got some chick pregnant yeah. like how many, how many dudes do you know i know nba, how, how I know NBA players that got chicks pregnant it's not it's not gonna stop you from dropping fifty, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, how many boy. dudes do you know? 
How many dudes you you know that were already one in a million <laughs> to get into the NBA, but also were the other one in a million to get somebody pregnant, and that was enough to stop them getting from the league? That's not. That's literally. That's not even. You're acting like the child would stop you from your athletic progress. It doesn't. And not only that, the irony of you all go, coming up there shitting on women for bringing up these these very unique men as examples to justify their arguments, and here you are talking about. A one in a million scenario. Once yeah. again, we support families. Yeah, we do. But at the same time, for what he's saying to become successful, you at can't a young say age, that you support families and also tell your audience to get a vasectomy. <laughs> we didn't say that. We just said we're, we're, we're you're telling the no, fence about. We're explaining why he said that. Crazy. Do you agree? I understand why he said it. You're, you see how you're ducking, <laughs> you're you see how you're ducking the no, it's a simple you're question. It's on me. It's not about me. It's about the generational. I'm asking your opinion. No, no. It's not a simple you're question. It's on me. It's not about me. It's about the generational. I'm asking your opinion. No, no. <laughs> Meet Grammarly Go, I swear your go-to solution God, for getting bro. quality work done quickly. Loop? I swear I heard it's that shit twice. twice. It's just a question. No, 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 no. no I we swear make the girls I heard that shit like three times or something. Exactly, all the time. It's just, hold do on, you on, agree, on. yes or no? Personally, my decision has nothing oh, to do with this discussion. <laughs> I'm just saying for you, politician answer. I understand why you're saying that. Yeah, the, the, you, you see, your, your thing is, he's talking about how to become a high-value guy. Nigga doesn't want to answer a simple question, bro. Do you agree yes or no, bro? The same way y'all put these women on a hot seat and y'all give them yes or no questions. Do you agree with telling 20-year-olds to get vasectomies, nigga? Do you agree with it? Not if you understand it. Do you agree? Not if you see some benefit in it. Do you agree? Do you agree? It's that it's a very simple yes or no question, bro. Okay, so he goes around the panel. He asks the women, like, what do they find? What do they deem as a high value man? Is your definition of a high value man? We could start with Karen the couch. Okay, well, first of all, thank you for advocating for that just now. I appreciate a man saying that. Um this but <laughs> you yeah, you, Wait, what was the title? What was the question? Sorry. What are your qualifications for a high value man? Okay. Uh, What's your idea of a high value man? A high value man is somebody who's successful, who is intelligent, who is hardworking, and who has integrity, and um, who's a genuine person. We're gonna let them define. So that is that's essentially what everyone's answer is. More so character based. We're just kind of cat, but we'll allow. No, no, but but that's how they that's how they answered it, right? With women's idea today, and like while traveling the world, that I probably agree with women's idea of a high value man more than the red pill space's idea of a high value man. How dare you? I think women. <laughs> did you see how all of them? None of them brought up finances really. None of them brought up like the way you look. None of them talked about like what you wear. And all of it is about character. It's Nico about took your... the trad con pill, bro. Yeah, it's, it's about your personality. It's important. It's important. Trad con pill, bro. No, look, it's important to have wealth. I don't know why that's crazy. I don't know why it's crazy. I don't know why it's crazy. Like, oh, is he detracting from the the red pill? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he forming his own opinion outside the scope of what we agreed upon? Oh, I don't know. Make it make it fun of just because they said more so character based traits rather than the superficial traits that y'all put. I think you know why. I think it's because he's been traveling more that's what he just said he said because i've been traveling yeah. more i've been yeah because that's like a very american thing people don't understand how american the idea of wanting things is yeah it's a very very american thing bro like the maybach isn't enough nigga i need the i need the penthouse oh without the penthouse what am i gonna be now you pursue the penthouse you got the penthouse nah, i need 50 acres of land i need 50 acres so that i can sell the farmlands can be so valuable in 50 years now you're onto the farm, you get the farm mm. line, like, bro, it, it never ends. It's an American thing, bro. Because a lot of guys, remember, dude, the average guy doesn't have much dick discipline. They'll get a yes. girl pregnant when they're 18, Instantly, 19, 20, bro. 21. That is so actually. No, yeah. they do not. Most guys do not get women pregnant when they're 18, 19, 20. Well, not most guys, but a lot of the ones I've known got a lot of other girls pregnant. Cause, and then also a lot of girls I know. From high school, got pregnant really early. 21. Some do. Some. Not most. What do you some, think the yeah, some. Is? I've already looked this up because this nigga's lying. What do you think the I feel like it might be under, like... 20 and under. 20, 25? Like, no. Like 15%? 20, how, many, how many men do you think have their first child when they're 20 years old or younger? By accident? Like 15%. Regardless, regardless, in general. I'd say 20, 25. Lower. 7% of men have their 7%. first child when they're 20 and younger. About 34% of men have their first child when they're 30 and older. Yeah. So the but, same, I, but, but you can't attribute all that to dick discipline because... A lot of people just want kids and try for kids. Especially oh, no, no, like, I get that. But what I'm saying is to make it seem like a bunch of, he sat there and said a bunch of men, young men, have kids when they're 18, 
15, 20, 20. That's just not, that's mm -hmm. literally not the case. That's mm -hmm. just a lot. And again, the only reason I'm going hard is because these are the niggas who come to these sets with a bunch of stats and facts to sit here and try to dunk on women. And now they're using hyperbolic language the same way that these women use to try to get a point off. And the point that they're trying to get off is that it's okay for 20 year olds to get a vasectomy, bro. The thing, the thing is that girls are going to say things that are politically correct. Huh? And it sounds good. Like, oh, notice how she said, a guy who has his finances in order. And then what did she say? Doesn't spend his money stupidly. That's having your, like, your finances. Like, I don't really care about finances, but, like, have their finance order, but not really, but, like, to just spend don't spend money stupidly. her so and it's the like, kids. Like, I get it. Like, yeah. the girls are on a podcast. They don't want to make themselves look, like, bad or whatever. But, dude, I mean, let's just keep it a thousand. I always say it. All women are gold diggers. Some are just better at hiding the shovel. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> These hyperbolic statements that they make, bro. God damn. I actually agree with him on that specific point. I agree with I agree with majority of what he's saying. However, <laughs> I, I, I like they most cap, but it's say I don't agree that all women are um gold diggers. Nah, that's that is the right thing to say, and there are women that believe that. It's just not all of them. It's here. not all of them, no. Some of them are lying. Some of them would one hundred percent disqualify somebody if they were not rich. Or if they were short, or just a whole bunch oh, of no, no, artificial for, metrics, with, without a doubt. But that, but that goes to everyone though. Like what, like <laughs> men as well. Like men want certain things, but if I'm, if she's not like a nah, certain, men, men keep it a buck though. I'm not saying I'm not saying they won't keep it a buck, mm. but they can sit here and just say all the things that they want from a woman. But there's all, all there's always going to be artificial aspects that will completely eliminate certain aspects of women, right? Yeah, but I think they keep it a buck about the artificial aspects. Oh no, no, I'm, I get that. Like but if I'm you saying, ask a guy, they'll be like, "She gotta have a fat ass." Yeah, they'll just say it, but they won't not bring it up. But that'll be a thing they really, really, really want. Yeah, they, they'll always bring that up. But you, like, would you date a woman who's six three? Yeah, that wouldn't. Mm, of course, six three. Mm -hmm. Six seven. In my head, I'm just thinking like, wow, I can't wait till they get to the league. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nah. This thing is crazy. Well, we know Myron, he's not dating a black woman, so. <laughs> That's crazy. Becoming successful in a high value life. So We're just who is the high value man who qualifies that? Because all the women in here, they just said that it's about ambition, it's about character, your personality. Is it is it you flexing for other guys? Who's qualifying? Like who are you becoming high value for? Other dudes in the internet? Mm -hmm. So yeah. ultimately, when you're done with that list, so to speak, and you're successful, you're now are seen as a prize to women. So, for example, yes, you could have a good personality, have good energy, good vibe. That's cool. But long term, becoming successful is going to be the key factor for most people. So he's just saying, to get there, get there faster through these steps. Now, ultimately, like I said before, family-wise is not, uh, I want to say, the best. And here's the other thing too, bro. I don't mean to call any of these ladies out, but they said a bunch of bullshit. They don't even care about any of these things unless they're attracted to you first. There's plenty of course not. There's well, a, it makes you attractive, there, there, though. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> But you're not going to give a fuck about his personality or being genuine or his integrity if he's not handsome enough or if he doesn't qualify. That's everyone. That's everyone, bro. That's everyone. You're not going to care about the qualities of any woman that they have unless they look good. That is everyone. That's, that is not, a, that's not a unique thing just to women. That's everyone, bro. They never answer the question. <laughs> just, like, just, just as you can see, they never answer the question. But for us to get to a point when we're talking about getting a vasectomy, come on, bro. Come on. What is the end goal of the high value man rhetoric? Is it just to be a playboy until you're like 35 and all of a sudden I can just reverse a 15 year old vasectomy? I feel like that's the equivalent of how they were like city girls and then the damn girls were like growing up to being 35 and then they were like now nobody wants me and then i was like i i feel like i remember when i said that and then i was like mate i forgot what i said back then but i think when that happens you go and get the people you don't want but then i don't know bro. I feel like it's going to be the same. Maybe the old playboys can get with the city girls and ha and live ha happily, happily ever after. I don't know. Because if that's the case, then you're not going to have children anyway. It's going to be extremely difficult for you to pull that off. I also think it's kind of lame that they're basically saying the number one way to live your life is to just attract, like your goal in life should be to attract as much women as possible, to fuck as much women as possible, because all things are pointing towards that. Like even the way they talk about success and self-improvement, some of the times is like, well, think about how much girls you can be able to get. Yeah. And it's just like, bro, if that's your metric for what's going to make you happy in your life, I guess do you, if that's you. But also that kind of feels like a sad life to live, but if that's your main goal, 
Like, come on, you gotta have a goal deeper than just being able to fuck random women, dog. Yeah. It's too surface level. Like, there's no real purpose in your life then. Like, what's the goal of it? But yo, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, man. Uh, what age do you want to get your first vasectomy at, man? <laughs> That's a crazy yes. question. What age do you want to get it, man? Let us know in the comment section below. Yeah. And then tell us what age you're going to finally reverse that for a second. <laughs> <laughs> what's, up? what's the age you finally going to tell yourself, I'm successful enough settling down, time to unsnip the snip, man. And yo, make sure you hit the subscribe button, notification bell. W Sneako, man. Thank goodness you start pushing back, bro. Oh, look. W Sneako right there. Yeah. Ah. And until next time, we'll see you all later. Peace. Bro, finally woke up after you went to Japan or whatever, or wherever you went, Korea or or traveling. I guess they go had them stumbling over their words. Yeah, bro, he sounded like a track record repeating the same shit. I was like, what the fuck he say? Younger niggas don't feed into the BS that Fresh and Fit is trying to teach y'all. They trying to teach you how to be something. That they're not themselves being high value and about how much money you got in your pocket or how hoes, how many hoes you can hit. You know how value is being genuine. Motherfucker who got respect and standards for yourself and others. True character doesn't have to put tough in front to be noticed or be noticed on its own. It's the way you carry yourself. Now, this is facts. A hundred. That sounds nice and all, but high value literally means being high value, simple as that. So therefore you would want to over time gain the attributes, learn certain skills in life. Yeah, I can see that. Like you need this, true. You need this and you need this. You need like you need all of that. But yeah, like subscribe, see you guys later. Hope you have a good day. Damn, that shit came out of nowhere. Or night and bye. My bad.